because we're going behind the scenes to find out what it takes to make these beautiful pieces. Let's meet Hamilton's master jeweler, Miguel. Jeweler Miguel Monzon is not only a girl's best friend, but also a creative genius. So what would be your favorite part of being a jeweler? I say creativity of it. A jeweler can create or turn someone's vision into a beautiful piece of jewelry that'll last a lifetime. We create things. We're like artists. We make things happen. The people downstairs sell it. They come up here, give us a drawing, and we make the uh, actual pieces. Many jewelers' days are spent in their shop creating jewelry from start to finish. First starting with a piece of wax. I will take a piece of wax and I will draw on it. I'll, I'll scribe it. The next step after that is to send it out to have it casted. What they do is they'll take the gold and they pour it and the, the, the design stays in the wax. Then it's sanded, buffed and made into perfection. Typically a jeweler works a 9 to 5 work week, creating jewelry in the shop and interacting with customers. I will look at the workload. Um, certain pieces may need my attention more than others. Um, I would, certain pieces may take longer, so I would work on them a little bit. I may get called downstairs to speak to a client. Before you get your hands on all this jewelry, you'll need to know a little bit more about the craft. A bachelor's degree in art is helpful. Definitely get some kind of artistic education. Definitely take anything that would be oriented towards the public. Luckily for you, jewelers are found all over the country. You may even find yourself in a tropical climate. Believe it or not, you can work anywhere you want. And especially if you love the hot weather, Florida, the islands, they look for jewelers in seasonal places. The job outlook for up and coming jewelers is good because there's always a need for fresh new ideas. Every new person that comes into the scene will have their own take, they will have their own ideas, their own, their own creativity. So they're always looking for new people to come on board. As if playing with diamonds all day isn't enough, you should be happy with this average salary too. Starting level, depending on the capacity that you, you, ex, you become an expert at, you can start between 50, 55,000 a year. A key to being a great jeweler, according to Miguel, is being personable with your customers. He also suggests these qualities. You have to have some dexterity. You need to have eye-hand coordination. You need to be able to have patience and sit down for a long time and just design a piece very slowly. This should blow your mind. The Golden Jubilee is the largest diamond in the world and it's 545.67 carats and it's worth between four to 12 million dollars. Who doesn't love pretty things and creating pieces that will last a lifetime? If that sounds like you, consider becoming a jeweler. I'm Shana for University TV. I'm almost done.